Hello, my name is Chirag Shah. I'm the editor-in-chief of the American Brachytherapy Society virtual platform, and today I'll be discussing the article, Comparing the Effectiveness of Combined External Beam Radiation and Hyperthermia versus External Beam Radiation Alone in Treating Patients with Painful Bone Metastases, a Phase 3 Prospective Randomized Control Trial. This was published in the Red Journal. With regards to an introduction, we commonly see bone metastases in patients with metastatic disease. They can cause pain, pathologic fracture, and with spine or vertebral body metastases, cord compression can also be seen. Radiation therapy is commonly given with a dose and fractionation of 30 gray and 10 fractions, though hypofractionated regimens, including 20 gray and 5 fractions and 8 gray and 1 fraction, are also commonly utilized. Patients who receive palliative radiation therapy for bone metastases typically see some amount of pain relief in 50 to 80% of cases. Hyperthermia is a well-known radiosensitizer and is commonly used in the setting of re-irradiation for recurrent breast cancers. This study represents the first phase three study comparing radiation versus radiation with hyperthermia for bone metastases. With regards to methods, this was a randomized trial of radiation versus radiation plus hyperthermia. The primary objective was a complete response. In terms of complete response, this was designed, designed as a brief pain inventory score of zero, plus no concomitant increase in analgesic use within three months after radiation. Secondary objectives of the study included the time and duration of pain relief, radiologic, radiologic response at 12 weeks, and the quality of life. Inclusion criteria included patients with bone metastases with ECOG 0 to 3 performance status and life expectancy of three or more months. Lesions had to be less than 20 centimeters, and patients had to have a BPI of 4 or greater over the last 24 hours with one index lesion. Radiation therapy was given 30 gray and 10 fractions with a margin of two centimeters around the GTB at a minimum. Hyperthermia was given at a minimum of 40 minutes twice weekly within two hours of the completion of radiation. This is the consort flow diagram demonstrating that 67 patients were assessed and 10 were excluded, uh, including for a life expectancy of less than three months, worse pain or age greater than 75. 57 patients were randomized with 29 in the hyperthermia arm and 28 in the radiation alone arm. With regards to results, the complete response rate was 38% with radiation and hyperthermia as compared to 7% with radiation alone at three months. The cumulative CR rate was 59% versus 32%, but the study terminated early uh, due to a suggestion of significant difference. Pain control also lasted longer with radiation and hyperthermia and longer pain progression-free survival with hyperthermia. No grade three adverse effects were seen, with the most common side effects being related to the radiation therapy. Of note in the patients receiving hyperthermia, skin was often red for one to two hours after treatment. Quality of life demonstrated initial improvement in the first month following hyperthermia, but this did not persist. This is a table from the study showing a comparison of complete response rates between the combination arm as compared to radiation loan at one, two, and three months. And you can see Overall, that the complete response rate at one month was 24 versus 14, at two months, 34 versus 11, at three months, 38 versus seven, and the best response within three weeks, as previously mentioned, was 59 versus 32%. And this is a figure demonstrating that cumulative complete response rate between the two arms. And these are figures showing the time to pain progression. Um, the first figure on the top left was looking at time to pain progression of patients with a complete response, demonstrating a benefit to combination radiation and hyperthermia. The second was in patients with a complete and partial response, showing the similar benefits. And finally, in the bottom left panel was all patients. This was a figure from the study showing uh, response rates. So in the first case, you can see on the left, the original lesion, followed by a response seen with radiation and hyperthermia. Similarly, you can see a large left iliac lesion in case B, which responded. And then finally, a paraspinal rib lesion in case C, which also responded. In conclusion, this is the first phase three trial showing a benefit of hyperthermia with radiation therapy for bone metastases. Improved pain control was seen with hyperthermia along with improved reacidification and prolonged treatment responses. Thank you very much.